Being in your twenties is just a it's just a roller coaster. <laughs> Let's get rid of stuff. Let's get rid of stuff. It's sad to have some lasts already. It is so wild. Hi friends, welcome back to Austin and welcome back for a weekend vlog, at least for me, filming this on a Friday, Saturday. This is my last video before taking off five days of filming, which is kind of kind of fun. I mean, I'm just getting ready for the day. I hope you're okay with me starting off this video a little chatty, but <laughs> things are getting real. Things are getting so real. I didn't really realize it until last night. I was on the phone with Jordy. He's about to be coming into town this next week because he has a couple Texas shows. He's playing with Switchfoot in Houston, which is like his childhood dream, which is so sweet. And then he has a show at A&M, so he'll be here this next week. And I was telling him, I was like, oh wow, we're gonna have to go a long time between that and when I see you next when I move. And he was like, no, only two and a half weeks. And I was like, what? There is so much that I need to do. I don't wanna start packing too early cause I don't wanna live in the chaos, but it's time. It's time to at least start doing some things. I wanna do the last like very brutal, thorough declutter this weekend. And I really wanna challenge myself of, do I actually need to move with that? Or can I leave it behind? Because honestly, I move every year and my favorite part about moving is it forces you to really assess every single little thing you own. I will be selling some furniture, like my couch. That I don't wanna do until I'm closer because I wanna have a spot to still sit. But that is kind of my goal for the day. Also, you know what is crazy? Kaylise is literally due on Sunday. Her mom is flying into Austin tomorrow, and if it works out, I'm hoping to see them for lunch. But who knows? She could literally go into labor at any second. So that's kind of up in the air. And a couple other things on the docket for this weekend is tonight I'm finally going back to my pottery studio for the first time in a few weeks. Gonna see how my plates turned out. I only glazed the small ones. I haven't glazed the big ones yet. I'm really nervous that perhaps they didn't survive because I did see some cracks forming, so we will see how that goes. And tomorrow I'm having a couple girls over for a movie night and order in type of situation. Um, I have all of the packages that got here while I was out of town. We can do a little mail time. Then I wanna get my butt into gear and just be ruthless. I'm, feel I'm feeling ruthless. So do one more pass of what can we get rid of. Oh, and just a side note. I just did my third weighted workout in a row. Three days in a row is, is the most I've done since my surgery. I've just been going for like 20 minutes and just doing some of the weighted machines and like walking like maybe 10, 15 minutes and that's all. But I'm easing back into it and I'm trying to feel like a strong girl and build up some muscle. And I'm proud of myself for even just like sticking to a bit of a routine. Cause I know that that is, that's the important part. Um, I'm gonna finish getting ready and we can open some packages. Okay, let's do a little mail time. Some of my packages are boring, but these three look fun. So, ooh, ooh. every time I see this color blue, I get really excited. It's normally drunk elephant. Oh my gosh. <gasps> the evening kit, it's some of the minis. Oh, and a full size. These are some of my favorites. What a cute little bag that it's in too. This, I have no idea what it is, but we'll find out together. Ooh, it's from YSL. Ooh, okay. We got some oil lipsticks and a Lash Clash mascara. Should we try one of these? Wow. Oh, it feels very light, light. I can't really see. So I'll watch back this footage and see how that lip color <laughs> looks on me. And the most exciting. Okay, Suzanne so let me pick out a couple things and I placed an order. They let me pick out a couple men's things and then a couple women's things. And I placed an order for me and I placed an order for Jordy and I don't know which one this is. I feel like this one might be mine. Is this mine or is this, wait. Oh no, this is mine. Okay. We're not quite at sleeve weather here in Texas, but look at the sleeves of this one. Isn't that so fun? It's like a collared shirt with this, I wouldn't even quite call it a paisley, but I'm not quite sure what you would call it. So cute. And then I got this silk top. They had matching pants with this, but I couldn't quite decide if it was too much. So I just got the top because I figured that could be really fun with jeans. This is a dress. I thought this would be so fun with boots. I wonder if we should try these on. Look at the little buttons and like the mock neck. And then, okay, 
I was thinking these for my after party earrings for the wedding. Y'all have seen my dress, right? Please pardon the transition. That is my after party dress. Just super like fluffy and fun. Should we try them on? <laughs> these are fun. Is it gonna be too bold with such a bold dress? Give me your thoughts. I really did want something kind of like statementy because I'll probably change my hair to a ponytail for the after party. I thought it would be fun if I did some sort of a statement earring. What do we think? Is it fun? Does it fit the vibe? <laughs> Give me your opinions. <laughs> so fun. Okay, thanks for having mail time with me. I wanted to try these on. Okay, how would you style this? Would you do like the half tuck situation like this because it's pretty long or would you tuck it off? Or would you wear it open, wear it down? I don't know, I do love the silky vibes. It's giving like clean girl aesthetic, like with a slicked bun, if I ever learn how to do that properly. Let's try the next. Look at these sleeves. Look at them. I feel like this would be cute tied like that, but I also saw them on their website style this with a sweater vest. I kind of wanted the one that Bella thrifted for me, how that would look over this, because the sleeves are so fun. Let's, let's try it. Okay, wait, never mind. I forgot this one had buttons. It does not translate like the way it did on the website. Kind of curious if I can get a feel for it backwards. Just the feel for it. Well, you can kind of get a bit of a feel for it. No. <laughs> Maybe I'll find the perfect thing to go with it one day. Okay, now this is a fall vibe with boots or even cowboy boots or even chunky loafers and socks. It's very comfy. Very cute. I love the buttons. Sorry. This is the opposite of decluttering. Thank you, Cezanne, for the gift. So kind. But now I'm gonna put back on my not cute clothes, my work clothes, and um, we'll get to work. Let's do it. Just a random side note, I feel very behind today because I didn't set an alarm. And normally I wake up at like kind of the same time every day, but a brand sent me this two ones, the extra strength and just the regular. It's like a sleep, it's by Beam. I actually really love this brand. Um, but it's like a nighttime capsule and it has a ton of different things in it. And I slept 11 hours. I woke up in what I thought was the middle of the night to pee and I looked at my clock and it was 10 a.m. I'm feeling very well rested and also very behind on the day. It's literally 1 p.m. But I have worked out, I've done computer work, gotten ready for the day. But like normally I have all of that done by, I don't know, 11, not one. Okay, I've tidied and I'm ready to, to get on this project. And I'm realizing there's some things that I can sell that I don't need. Like for example, this keyboard. I just looked it up and apparently this is being sold for like $719, which is actually a lot, but I've just had it for so many years that I did not realize it was that nice of a keyboard. And I don't need a keyboard because I'm gonna be marrying someone that has a lot of keyboards <laughs> and a real piano. So that's something that I can like list and try to sell today. There's also some things that I just don't know if it's worth moving. Like I have a bicycle, but we are living not in a very bikeable area. So I'd have to like put the bicycle on my car to take it somewhere to use it. And I just don't foresee myself doing that. So maybe I'll list my bicycle today too. There's just things like that, that obviously like I wanna keep. The things I will be selling is pretty much everything in here. I'll be selling this couch, this coffee table. I think Jincy is taking this and this projector screen. I think that's it for that room. I might go ahead and list, list some things on Facebook Marketplace today. But there's also other things I just wanna donate. For example, my next fridge has a water filter. So I don't need this anymore and I actually just dropped this yesterday and I broke it and I put wood glue on it to try to glue it back together and hopefully it's still, you know, donatable. Let's see what else we got. Let's get rid of stuff. Let's get rid of stuff. Another thing that I should probably just donate is I bought this C-stand and like backdrops for a video once. I don't even remember what video it was. I think it was like a, like a lookbook video because I was like, how professional and fun would that look to do it all in front of a backdrop? And then I just never filmed it that way. I think I decided, ah, it might not feel very authentic. And I've just kept on to it. And you know, I don't think I want to move it. I don't think I'll use it. So I think I'll just donate it. 
I'm gonna reduce, reuse, recycle this random box. I feel like I have just random vases and such. Like this came with flowers for free once and things like that. Even these containers, I don't really hardly use anymore. Um, they're supposed to be for like oats and flour and such, but maybe I'll regret getting rid of them. I just, I, I have a hard time keeping track of like when things will go bad and all that sort of thing. What else is up here? What do we got up here? Honestly, another free vase. And I have some of my original ugly pottery from the very first time I took some classes. This one isn't awful, it's just not my vibe. Uh, if you want some of my original ugly pottery and you live in Austin, I'm gonna be donating a lot of things to the Goodwill on South Congress. I'm about to be seeing my parents and Jordy's parents all on Sunday. And some of the pottery I just don't like, but it's not ugly. It's just, I don't like it. So I might make a little basket of things that I just probably am not gonna use or keep. Like, I just hate this glaze. It's just, it's so Robin's, Robin's egg? Rob, Robin's egg? They'll probably also want these berry bowls that the glazes just absolutely flopped and I tried to reglaze them, but my studio was like, ooh, there's a high likelihood that that will just drip and then it will get stuck to the kiln and then you'll have to break it off anyways, so. But the glazes on them ended up so bad. It's just ugly glazes. Like this is a cute little thumbprint mug, espresso cup, but this glaze is just, it's not it. It's not it. Like this one dripped funny on the inside, but it was a cute little something. These are cute. These are part of like a PR gift for a cooking class I did for a brand. I like salt and pepper grinders, but you know, I don't need them. I don't need them. And this box is full. We fill the whole box. One less box to move. Now I'm gonna go through a few spots where I don't think there's really anything to donate, but I do think there's things to toss like under here. Honestly, I was telling this to Jordy the other day. I said, can we use the move as an excuse to like really scrutinize every single, especially home product that I bring into this house? Like every laundry detergent, every surface cleaner, every dish soap, every dishwasher pod, everything. I just want to do the research. Even thinking about like down to toilet paper, just do the research of the ingredients. And I'm just reading more and more about like the environmental things and how it affects our body. And I'm wondering if now that I'll be living in a house instead of an apartment, like I'm exposed to all the cleaning products and whatever they use in the halls and everything like that. But now that I have like a lot more control over my everyday environment, if I will feel the correlation, if I put forth the effort and the research into every ingredient of all the things. I mean, it's gonna be a slow process. It's not like I can just, you know, change every single product I use, but start making those changes. Anyways, that's a side tangent. Um, I'm thinking about, I've been reading a lot about Branch Basics. They sound awesome. Um, and switching a lot of my products to them, but I would also love recommendations if there's some brands that y'all love that are like very, very, very clean. Like what is it, the EWG website that rates things? Like that would get a good score on that website. Like that level is what I'm looking for. But enjoy a little montage of me probably just like tossing some old things that can't be donated, but that I don't want to move either. Ready, set, go. <laughs> definitely got some non-donatable trash and this whole thing is pretty full for the first load 
So we're making progress. It's funny, I always think, oh, I cleaned it out recently. There's not much more. There's always more. There's always more. Dropped off the goods at Goodwill and I was a little nervous. I was like, do I have clay? In fact, I do. In my trunk. So we're ready to go. Ready to go, maybe throw a couple things and check on the plates. Let's say a little prayer. I miss my mom and dad Why is it so hard to tell that When you get to a certain age You miss what you could have had But don't really want it back And hope that you're on track For 22 and some change I just want to have fun have a good laugh. Make a few friends. Sorry, it's golden hour right now, but I have to show you these. I'm cracking up how tiny these ended up. Y'all remember when I threw these? I swear they were twice the size. There were some cracks, so I really thought they weren't gonna survive. Almost all of them have a little crack, but this one's perfect. I'm so thankful they survived. They are literally coasters, or maybe like, that you put a mug on, you know? Which is hilarious, but I glazed the larger ones the exact same way, so hopefully I'll have a little set. One of the four larger ones is so noticeably smaller, which is fine. And then I guess I threw this thing that I forgot and I picked up. Turned out pretty cute. Not quite large enough to be a mug, I don't think. I could have added a handle and maybe it could have been like a teacup, perhaps, but Oh well. But I had a very sad realization. Basically, I was about to start throwing and I started doing the math and I was like, okay, I'm gonna have to come back three times for this piece. One to trim it, one to glaze it, and then one to pick it up. And I don't know if I will be in town long enough to finish a piece that I start throwing today, which is so sad. And now that I'm out of a class, I pay by the hour. So I'm like, it's probably not worth the you know, 20, 40, 60 dollars, it's 18 dollars an hour, that I would spend throwing these pieces if I don't get to finish them. So I'm leaving without throwing anything and that's the end of this studio for me. There's a couple new studios in Oceanside that once I get there I'm gonna probably try to sign up for a class. So it's not the end of Pottery Macau, but it's it's the end of Austin Pottery Macau, which is so sad! But whenever I pick up the big guys that match these, I will bring y'all along. <sighs> It's sad to have some lasts already. It's real, like I said, like it's hitting me like how real this is, how it's like time. Crazy. Well guys, good morning. You know how yesterday I was like, I could not stop sleeping. It was so weird. I slept like 11 hours straight. This morning, the opposite happened. My body after five hours of sleep was like, nope, we're done. And I was like, why are we done? We're never done after this amount of time. And I was like, too bad, we're done. And I was up at like 5 a.m. And I laid there till 6 or 6.30, but then I gave up. And I watched the sunrise, which actually was so nice. And I want to be a morning person, but I also want to be a sleep person. But I also want to be a, I don't want to be a party pooper in the evening person. I want to... I have FOMO, and I don't know how to be all of those things simultaneously, but I do love waking up early. Like, it's crazy, it's, well now it's 10, but I've been up for five hours, and I've done so much. I finished uploading two videos, I did some research, I booked some honeymoon things, I worked out, I showered, I got ready, I FaceTimed Jordy, I vacuumed under the couch and under the bed. Uh, also, while I'm just sitting here curling my hair, big news. As I mentioned, I'm getting lunch with Kaylise and her mom because her mom flew in today into the Austin airport to be here for the birth. And so we're gonna grab lunch before they drive back to New Braunfels. But the crazy thing is, is the doctors don't want Kaylise to go past 40 weeks pregnant. So her due date is tomorrow, Sunday, but they have an induction scheduled for the next day, Monday. So no matter what, baby is gonna be here. So this is my last time seeing her before baby, for sure, because baby's gonna be here in two days maximum, possibly less. I really can't wait, I'm really excited. I had the best idea of, I should bring Kaylee's flowers. 
Duh, I don't know why I didn't think of that sooner. The thing is, is I also am out of dishwasher pods and I think it would be really great to get like a couple fun drinks and maybe a dessert for the girls tonight. So I should probably just go to like Whole Foods to get all of those things. But Whole Foods doesn't have completed bouquets and there's another spot that I've taken y'all to once called Foxtrot. It's like a coffee shop slash market and they might have like dishwasher pods and maybe like some fun drinks in bulk, but I'm pretty positive they have bouquets like already arranged. So I might risk it and go there en route to brunch. Should we risk it or should we go for the for sure? I think we risk it. I think we risk it. And I'm gonna take my pottery to the car for the moms tomorrow so that I don't forget that. Okay, let's go. Okay, a little haul. First, I thought I really struck out because I walked in and the flowers are always in the front and it was just sunflowers for $24.99. And like, no offense, but sunflowers are probably my least favorite flower. <laughs> I just really don't like them. So I was so bummed and I was like, oh well, I'll just look around for the other things I need. And then in the very back, there was a single bouquet remaining. It's a little bright for my taste, like the roses, but it was there and I was very, very pleased to find it. I was out of just regular cooking oil, but they had the Graza sizzle. I've only used the drizzle at home because I love the flavor of it, but this one is made for like high heat, whereas the other one's like a finishing oil. So we got more oil and then look at this dessert I found for girls night. It's gluten-free chocolate chip cookie dough and the branding is immaculate and it's organic butter eggs and rice flour. There's only eight cookie dough balls in here, but it's like a hefty boy, so those are probably big cookies. And then, fun little mocktail drink for tonight. Look at the branding of it. Branding just gets me every time. It's a sparkling grapefruit juice. Non-alcoholic beverage or mixer. Betty Buzz. I just love that shade of pink. That's so stinking cute. I'm hoping the frozen cookie dough does okay in my car for the next hour to two, but... I'm sure it's, it's like frozen as a rock. So it should be fine, right? It should be fine, it should be fine. Okay, let's go to brunch. <laughs> off to have a baby. Literally off to have a baby. So crazy. Okay, I just came to pick up my keyboard and why is there such a rush? of successfully selling things on Facebook Marketplace. Oh, <laughs> you okay, dude? Max is also in a very hyper mood. Whenever it rains, he gets like that. But now that that was so successful and easy, I really just want to sell as much stuff as I can and use it to have a couple last bougie Austin dinners before I leave. Cause I'm trying to be in my budget girl era, but girl math means if you sell things you already own and you get money for it, it's free money. Life is changing so rapidly. Everything, babies, moves, weddings. Being in your 20s is just a, it's just a roller coaster. <laughs> you think? <laughs> He's been so funny today. I was just gonna say, we just got back in from a walk and I got only a couple hours before girls night. So I think I'm gonna spend the next couple hours uploading all of my footage and getting all of my work things wrapped up before I get to take off a week of, well, I say of filming but a filming YouTube, I actually have quite a few other things to film. Still, it, whenever there's like a change in my schedule, it always feels kind of like, oh, you know, a, a long weekend or whatever that is. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here, but thanks for spending a Friday, Saturday with me. I love y'all. It's just a handful more of these here, but we're gonna make them special and we got, we got more work to do. So thanks for spending time with me while I do it. Love you. Hope you have the best rest of your day and I'll see you in a video very soon. So let's take all night, all night, all night, all night.